Can you actually do real work and productivity on the iPad Pro? Or is it just a $2,000 consumption device made for tech enthusiasts with too much money laying around? Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and I use my M4 iPad Pro every single day for my office job and for my teaching position. I spend my day in project management and I'm collaborating inside Word documents, I'm managing budgets on Excel spreadsheets, and in my teaching position, I make all kinds of PowerPoint presentations for my students. And I'm not really understanding why people think you can't do real productivity work on the iPad. If you're struggling to do productivity on iPad Pro, you might not be doing it right. But fear not, Tech Dad is here to help. So in this video, I want to walk you through some real life examples on how I use my iPad Pro to do real work every day. And I want to give you some tips and pointers on how to use productivity effectively on the iPad Pro so you don't end up ripping your hair out and go running back to your MacBook. By the way, a lot of people People keep asking me about this mug and they keep saying hey where did you get that I love that mug I want one this mug is my merch and you can find this in the tech dad store so if you navigate to my YouTube channel you can purchase it I've got a whole bunch of decals in there and another mug anything you purchase I just put right into tech so I can review for you all so I appreciate your support but if you want that mug that's how you find it all right let's get into the content okay so let's start with Microsoft Word as an example so let's say a team member sends me over a document about making a legal agreement. I do these all the time in project management, scopes of work, contracts, things like that. So in this example, my colleague sends me some text that I need to alter and change and clean up. And he wants me to preserve the original text. So to do that, I'm just going to open up Microsoft Word again on my iPad by pulling the app off of my dock. And now I have two windows up with Microsoft Word. And to make this quicker, I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts so I can select all the text that I need. I can quickly copy it and paste it. If you don't know keyboard shortcuts, all you have to do is hold down the command key on your keyboard and you will see all the keyboard shortcuts that are available in that application. It's really nice. So I'm going to paste my text over that I need and then I'm going to start adjusting the headings and the normal text and just get this document cleaned up. And if you say, well, tech dad, I don't want to be cramped on this little 13 inch iPad screen, then go ahead and connect a secondary display. I use my Apple Studio display all the time. It gives you a lot more screen real estate, but you can use any monitor that you want. I have an HP 24 inch monitor at work. So once you get your secondary display hooked up, just drag your windows over and start working. Take advantage of that extra screen real estate. Okay, so once I've got my document all cleaned up, now I need to collaborate with my team members to actually review the document and make any changes that they might suggest. I do this all the time at work. So you can go to the review tab, you can start to leave comments if you want. You can turn on track changes so that everyone can see the changes that are being made in the document. It's really handy, we do this all the time, and I'm sure if you work in an office environment, you're doing this a lot as well. When I'm all done, I can save back to Microsoft OneDrive, or I can even email this document by pulling up my Microsoft Outlook, pulling up the Files app, and then dragging and dropping the file in, just like you would on a computer. Now, something else that the iPad Pro offers that you're not going to do on a Mac is the ability to use Apple Pencil. So a lot of people like to mark up a document, make highlights, make little notes, maybe they print it off to do that. Well, you don't have to print with the iPad Pro, just pull up the document and start to write on it. So I might use the highlighter tool to highlight different pieces of the document, maybe make some highlights in yellow that I want to talk to Bill about, and highlights in purple that I want to talk to Jim about. It's really handy, beautiful. I love using Microsoft Word on my iPad Pro. It's really nice. All right, let's talk PowerPoint now. So I have to make all kinds of PowerPoint presentations. And let's say I'm making a PowerPoint presentation for my students. And we're going to talk about finding volume. Well, to make a real life point, I might want to show a real life picture of something where you might have to find volume. For example, you might want to show silos on a farm and how much grain these can hold. This is a good conversation starter for my PowerPoint. So I'm just going to pull up Safari with PowerPoint right there beside it and I'm going to find a picture that I want and I'm just going to drag it into the slideshow presentation just like you would on a computer and when you do this PowerPoint on the iPad will pull up the designer and give you some design suggestions for your slides it's really nice so I can pick from the design that I want and make some changes to the slide and as you continue to craft your slides and add new ones you can change the design elements as needed to make them match okay so now that I'm going to talk about volume I've defined some terms and now I need to put 
put some shapes on the slides to actually go through a math problem. So I'm gonna start with a cylinder just like we did with the silos that we talked about earlier. So I'll insert a shape and I can put some lines on here to define the radius and the height of the cylinder. And then I like this part about the iPad Pro that is really difficult to do on a Mac or a PC and that's writing out formulas. Do you know how hard it is to write V equals pi R squared times height on a MacBook? It's really aggravating, but it's really easy to just write it out with the Apple Pencil. So I write out my formula and I can just do the math right there on the slide. And if I wanna quickly crunch the math out, I can pull up the calculator app. We have math notes now on the iPad Pro. And so you can actually just write out the equation pi times three squared times nine and boom, it figures it out for you. Let your students take advantage of tools like that. It's amazing. So yeah, I have no complaints about PowerPoint on the iPad Pro. It really enhances my work over a MacBook. All right, last but not least, Microsoft Excel. So let's talk about managing a spreadsheet. So let's say I'm trying to track sales transactions in my business. I can input data and I can use formulas to quickly find the sum of all the sales. I can even change the formatting of cells to currency. I hate looking for that stuff in the menu though, so you can use the light bulb icon and quickly find what you're looking for. So I just type in currency and boom, it's changed. But let's say I wanna add a column where I track which salesmen are actually making the different transactions because I wanna see how much each sales rep is doing and who's earning the most sales. Well, you say, Tech Dad, I don't wanna deal with formulas. You don't have to, you can just use a pivot table. And so to find this, I use the light bulb again, I type in pivot table and I select to put this pivot table on another sheet. Now, it'll walk you through the pivot table instructions. It will have you define the table data. So I wanna select the sales rep and the sales amount. And boom, it will quickly determine which sales rep was assigned to each sale and how much they made. It's so easy and simple. I don't have any problems with Excel on the iPad. I feel like all of the formulas that I need are there, all the components that I need are there, and things are quick and easy to find. It's not like I have to figure it out. I can use the light bulb icon and it quickly pulls up the functionality that I'm looking for. All right, so those are just a few real life examples of the ways I use productivity on my iPad Pro. There are so many more that I could name and I'll probably give you a lot more video content that gives these examples over time. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you got some tips and pointers today. If there's something that you would like to see on the iPad Pro about how to do productivity, please leave a comment below. I'd love to read about it. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.